When you depress it like this. Could this hold the key to unlocking revolutionary treatments for breast cancer? This is the first drug that's being tested for this reason. And the active ingredient in that is? Is 4-hydroxytamoxifen. It's the first time tamoxifen, a drug used for decades to reduce the risk and recurrence of breast cancer, is being tested as a topical gel, a potentially safer option with no known side effects. The current pill form of tamoxifen, which has been very effective in treating breast cancer, can cause hot flashes, fatigue, and in some cases, cancer of the uterus and stroke. It's a way of delivering drug to the breast and protecting the rest of the body. The target patient group right now, those in the earliest stages of breast cancer. This is DCIS, where the cells, the tumor cells are still inside the duct. DCIS, or ductal carcinoma in situ, the exact diagnosis yeah. former Chicago Tribune writer Patricia Tennyson received earlier this year. So I just got the news and went, oh, you take a breath and go, OK, well, what's next? Tennyson agreed to participate in the clinical trial before her surgery, using the gel and taking a pill. One of them is a placebo. The goal is to see if both work just as well in fighting cancer cells. We hope it will decrease the growth rate of the cells and um, it will really provide very important information to help other women in the future. After her successful surgery, Tennyson is today free of breast cancer and hoping what researchers have tapped into will change the future of breast cancer treatments. What I'm doing in these tests may help my daughter and, and probably surely my granddaughter from having to go through the same path I went on. Mm. So this is a blind study. Neither the patient nor the doctor knows if they're taking the pill or the experimental gel as a placebo. Northwestern is one of six hospitals nationwide that continues to recruit more patients for this clinical trial. The results may come in two years. You can find more information on our website about this clinical trial at abc7chicago.com. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.